Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we have Journey Map. This is Journey Map in Minecraft 1.20.4. Installing Journey Map should be super simple, and I'm going to show you how to do so in this video. Let's get started with the tutorial. Step number one to downloading and installing Journey Map is to actually click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install Journey. Now, in here, you can read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but the main thing is to click where it says Journey Map, and that will redirect you over here, where you just give it a second to load, and you could see all the files for Journey Map, all the versions for Journey map right as you can see we have 1.20.4 here but there's multiple 1.20.4 as you can see we have neoforge fabric forge these in here forge neoforge and fabric are mod loaders you need to download the version of journey map that matches your mod loader if you have fabric installed you need to download the fabric version if you have forge you download the forge version now if you don't have any mod loader right now in your computer then i'm going to show you how to install that in a second but if you do just go ahead and download the one that matches your mod loader and you should be set you're good you download the mod you add it to your mod folder and you're set now if you don't have any mod loader we're going to download the forge one and i'm going to show you how to install forge in just a second but i'm click on the little three dots right here and click download file which will redirect you over here where in five seconds the download will start automatically just give it five seconds and the file will start downloading just like you can see in here it's asking me where to save it for you most likely it will download automatically you can find your file here in the little downloads tab within chrome or in your downloads folder within your computer now once this blue bar goes away that means it's been downloaded completely and we could drag and drop it into our desktop just like so now we have journey map and like i said if you already have some mod loader just go ahead and drag and drop it into your mods folder we have videos on the channel on how to install fabric and we have videos on the channel on how to install forge if you don't have any mods loader however we're going to solve forge and that is why we downloaded the forge version go ahead and click on the third link in the description which will bring you to a reading guide on how to download and install forge you even have an indexing here for every step in case you get lost this is a very in-depth guide however if you just want to follow along the video go ahead and scroll down and click where it says download forge here that is going to redirect you over here where we're going to select 1.20.4 in the top left once you're in the 1.20.4 you're going to click on installer that will redirect you over here where we're going to wait five seconds don't click anything just wait five seconds and after five seconds in the top right you will see a button labeled as a skip and you're going to click that button and that is going to start the download again automatically in my case it's asking me where to save it you already know that's how i have it set up but for most of you will download automatically again once it's completely downloaded we're going to drag and drop it into our desktop now something you might have noticed right now is that all of these files are jar files they have the extension that jar and forge just finished let's go ahead and drag and drop that all of these files are jar files which means that you will need java to open and install all these files if you don't know what java is and uh, i'm not talking about minecraft java i'm talking about java the software that will allow you to use this you need java 17 in your computer and if you don't have java so let's say that you try to install forging a bit and it's not installing because you don't have java or it's opening as a web browser or a text document well, I'm going to leave you a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17. This is a very in-depth guide. We also have videos on the channel on how to do this. However, if you just want to read and look at photos, you could do it super quick. And I'm also leaving you a guide on how to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is something that you do after you install Java in order to update all your jar files, these files, to match your newer Java instance. Okay? If you get any issues installing Forge, you need to update Java. That's it. Once you have updated Java, or if you don't have any issues installing Forge, all you have to do to install it is double click it double click on the force installer and that will open this little menu here make sure however that your minecraft launcher is completely closed okay you need to have your 1.20.4 minecraft closed as well as your launcher once that's done go ahead and open the, the installer for forge and click ok everything should be by default if you install minecraft in a custom folder maybe you could change it but by default this is the right folder just click ok and wait for forge to install now let's say that you wanted to play forge with your friends and you need a server well if you use the first link in the description you can make your server with apex hosting not only get 25 percent off but also have a java server with forge or whatever mod pack that you want whatever mod you want that will be made completely for you like these people will make the server for you and here it is you could control the server console through your phone so if you need to change the server settings if you need to kick people out disable something disable a mod you could do it through your phone. That's something that I really love about Apex Hosting. Again, first link in the description for 25% off. And let's get back into the tutorial. As we can see, Forge already finished installing. All we have to do now is click OK. And we could even get rid of the installer. Go ahead and delete the Forge installer, as well as this little text document that appears when you install Forge. Now we're going to launch our Minecraft launcher. 
Let's go ahead and click on the Minecraft launcher and give it a second. And now that the Minecraft launcher is open, if you install Forge properly, you should see it selected automatically here in the bottom left. If you don't see it in there, however, you could head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. If modded is not selected, you won't see it, right? So once you found Forge, which should be right here, you're gonna, again, let's say that you see Forge in here, click on installations, find Forge in here again, and click on this little folder. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files and we're gonna minimize the launcher in the background. We're gonna put this folder right here. Within this folder, you're looking for a specific folder called mods, M-O-D-S. My mods folder is right here. If you don't have the mods folder, however, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete mine, you could always create it. Right click, click folder on new and then type M-O-D-S, mods. Go ahead and open up the mods folder and in here, you're just gonna drag and drop journey map. Go ahead and drag and drop journey map in there. Close this folder, go back to the launcher and click play on Forge. Wait for this to open and in here you're gonna click you understand the risk and then click play. And now that the game has opened, we know that we're in Forge because it literally says Forge down here in the left. And if we head over to the mods option, we see that journey map is in here. Now we're gonna test it out by launching a world. I'm just gonna open my first world in here. Give it a second for the world to open again. If you need to play with your friends in a server that is open 24 seven, you can use the first link in the description and create your server with Apex hosting. Now I'm in the sky right now because I was taking a photo for a thumbnail. However, let's come down here. And as we can see, we have journey map right on the top, as you can see on the top right. And if we press J, we see this little menu here. And if we press close, we see journey map. This is journey map right here, ladies and gentlemen, you have a bunch of different customization options. You could even make journey map a square. If you don't wanna see the circle on the top right, make it a square. If you go back pressing J, you can see all the buns, I guess all the key binds they're here on the bottom right. And yeah, this is pretty much journey map. Pretty useful minimap mod for Minecraft. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.